but the coverage with the showers and storms as we get into this afternoon really does increase. It's still kind of scattered, but around two to three o'clock. That's when those storms really get going probably west of the Metroplex as we head into this afternoon. We'll show you that coming up here in just a moment, and then those will rapidly uh, develop and spread eastward as we head into the late afternoon, early evening. And yes, we are talking about severe storms that will be possible as we get into that 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. time frame a little bit later today. So here's how it may shape up on our time cast going through the afternoon hours. Look at those storms that start to initiate. This is around 2 p.m. here this afternoon. So between 2 and 3, probably somewhere west of I-35W, maybe out toward us, Stephenville there in Erath County, out toward up Mineral Wells as well. We'll be keeping an eye on things initially west of the Metroplex. But watch as we continue heading toward 3 o'clock. Those storms quickly uh, develop and intensify as they begin to move toward the I-35 corridor a little bit uh, later in the afternoon as we head toward 4 or 5 o'clock, moving right through the Metroplex once again. And along and south of I-20, similar to what we saw on Wednesday, looks like the favorite area for more severe weather will be in our southern counties once again, but anywhere across the North Texas, we could see strong, potentially severe thunderstorms by late this afternoon. You can see around 5 p.m. that uh, expands a little bit more ongoing severe weather threat for the late afternoon and early evening, and these storms move off very quickly as we head towards 7 p.m. Still out toward bottom, Paris, Sulphur Springs, uh, Terrell, Canton, still that possibility for severe storms in your area as we head into the evening, and then finally things begin to settle down some as we head toward 10 p.m. The severe weather threat will wane sometime after 10 o'clock, but we'll still have some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. I do think as we head toward midnight and after some, that wrap around a shower and thunderstorm activity as that uh, system does finally exit the area, but a few showers will be left over in our northeastern counties, especially as we head into the early morning hours on Saturday, but skies should be clearing from west to east as we go through the day. So the weekend Saturday not going to be a total washout, just a few leftover showers, I think, during the morning hours. But again, there's that enhanced risk for the severe weather. We've talked about the large hail. Some of that could be very large once again. Again, the damaging wind threat and that tornado threat is there today as well. Rainfall forecast. We could see upwards of a half an inch to maybe an inch around the Metroplex one to two. This will be a fast moving system, so flooding shouldn't be a major concern for us. And as we look at the weekend, we'll be in the lower 80s today, much cooler tomorrow. Highs not getting out of the 60s as the rain does end. We'll have some brisk northwest winds as well, 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then as we wrap up the weekend, heading into the early part of next week, we'll see those temperatures getting back into the lower 80s with mostly sunny skies. All right.